Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to build a Linux server from scratch to full desktop GUI. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, let's install Ubuntu server into our VMware in our Windows 10 and then I'll show you that how we can have a desktop GUI into that one. So first of all, let's create a new virtual machine. Click on next and from here go for the option. I will install the operating system later. Click on next once again, select the Linux type and go for the version. I'm going to install Ubuntu 22.10 server. So for that, I'll go for Ubuntu 64 bit. Just click on it and click on next. After that, go to the directory where you want to have the location of this virtual machine. And here you can name your virtual machine anything. I'll go for Ubuntu server. After that, click on next. And here you have to assign the disk size to your server. I'll go for around 30. And after that, I will click on next. Now, click on customize hardware. From here, we'll assign the memory or RAM. I'll go for around 4000 megabytes. After that, here we have the processor. Go for the processors as per your liking. Okay, I have given 4.7, let's decrease it. Now I think we are good. After that, here we have new CD option. Just click on it and from here go for use ISO image file. Just click on it and from here click on browse option. It will open a directory structure like this. Now go to the directory where you have downloaded your Ubuntu server. So I'll just go to my downloads directory. Here I have my Ubuntu server. I'll just double click on it and here we have successfully added it in here. Now after that just click on close, click on finish and we are done with all the settings. Okay you might be wondering that where do we download Ubuntu server file. Well do not worry. Open your favorite browser and just search for Ubuntu server download and, and click on the first link that says get Ubuntu server. Okay, from here it will give you the option to download the latest version. As you can see, the latest one is Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS. Down here we have 22.10. In case if you want to go for some other version of Ubuntu server, you can search for it and you can download it very easily. And all of them will be available on the official website of Ubuntu. So this is how and where you can download your Ubuntu server. Now let's go back to our VMware. So here it is. Now we just need to start this virtual machine. I'll just click on this startup button and here it has started our Ubuntu server. So let's wait for it. Now from here we need to select the language. I'll go for English, hit enter and you can use your arrow keys to move between the options. After that here it is asking if we want to go for the update. I'll go without the updating option. I'll hit enter and now it is asking us to have the layout and variant for the keyboard. I'll go for the default options which are English and I'll go for the done option. Now it is asking to have the base for installation. You want to server, you want to server minimized or you want to go for additional options. I'm going with you want to server. So I'll just hit enter. Now it has started the process. Here it is asking us to configure at least one interface so that it can interact with other machines. I'll go for the defaults option. I'll not change anything. So I'll just hit enter. Now it is asking for the proxy address. In case if you have one, you can enter that in here. And in case if you do not want to do so, don't worry, just hit enter. And again hit enter, it was basically asking for the mirror address. Now it is asking for the space or for the storage, where do you want to store this or install this. I'll go for the default option which says entire disk. After that, use your arrow keys, come down, go for the done and hit enter. Now it is the file system summary of our system. I'm okay with this one, so I'll just hit enter and it is asking for the confirmation. I'll go for the continue option. Do not worry, just hit enter. Now it is asking for the name. I'll go for my name. After that, it is asking for the server name. I'll go for 22.10. Then it is asking for the username. And after that, it is asking for the password. I'll have my password. I'll confirm it. And after that, I'll go for the done option. Now it is asking if we want to install open SSH server. I'm okay without it. So I'll just go for the done option, hit enter. And now, it is asking for the different server environment that we can select. So select anyone as per your liking. And in case if you do not want to go for it, just go for the done option and hit enter. 
and now it has started the installation process of our Ubuntu server 22.10 so it will take a little bit of time so let it get complete and then I'll get back to you and now if you see we have a small message as install complete at the top bar now what you need to do you just need to come down to the option that says reboot now hit enter and now it will reboot your Ubuntu server we are back with the reboot and now we need to log in into our Ubuntu server so I'll have my username and after that it will ask me for my password I'll enter my password and we are done so after clearing my terminal we are ready to use our Ubuntu server now let's have a GUI for it first thing first we need to make sure that our Ubuntu server is updated and upgraded so I'll write here sudo apt update to see if there is any update available for my packages I'll have my password I'll hit enter now it is checking all the packages and checking if there is any update for any package for my Ubuntu server. Let's wait for it and then we'll upgrade all of them. There are 30 packages that needs an upgrade. So this time I'll use the command as sudo apt space upgrade. Now hit enter. It will upgrade all the packages and it will require additional 1018 kilobyte of additional space. So I'll press Y, I'll hit enter. And now we need to wait for the process to get complete. We are done with the upgrade and there are some services that our Ubuntu is asking. There are some services that you might not know about. For example, we have OpenVM tools, which is a really great service in terms of having a GUI and different interactivities. After that, we have authentication service. So just go with the default options. And after that, press tab key and it will go to your OK, press enter. So we are done with almost everything in terms of the update and upgrade. Now, in terms of having the desktop GUI for our Ubuntu server, we need to install a tool. The name of the tool is task cell. The command for that is sudo space apt space install space task cell. After that, hit enter. Press Y, hit enter once again. From here, it is asking again for a daemon service. Do not worry, just go for the OK option, hit enter and we are good to go. Now, this time we have to open our task cell. The command for that is sudo space task cell and hit enter it will open a small interface with a gui so here we have different desktop environments that we can go for we have debian desktop environment genome xfce kde cinnamon mate lxd lxqt etc so go with the one as per your liking i'm gonna go with the genome because ubuntu comes with genome desktop environment by default so i'll just go to the genome and i'll press my space bar key and now it has been selected now I'll press my tab key and I'll hit enter on my OK option. Now as you can see it has started the process. It will download these number of files which are 1043 and then it will install all of them. So it will take a little bit of time. So let's wait for it to get complete and then I'll show you that how we can switch to have a GUI onto our Ubuntu server. We are done here with the installation of our desktop environment and now what you need to do, you just need to reboot your Ubuntu server. So I'll just write here reboot which is a command and it will reboot our Ubuntu server. Hit enter and the next time we'll open our Ubuntu server, it will have a GUI. So let's wait for the reboot and let's see what do we get as a result. So here it is restarting our VMware and then it will restart our Ubuntu server. So we are back and now you just need to enter your password that you had when you were installing your Ubuntu server. Hit enter. So here you see we have a desktop environment available. We have activities available. We have some of the applications. If I right click on it here we have some of the things. Let's go to its settings and let's see what do we have in here. If I just scroll down if I go to about section here it says Ubuntu. It means we have Debian installed successfully and it is working pretty fine. I'll just close this one and let's open our terminal. Either you can go to your activities and look for terminal. I'll just search for terminal in here. Here it is. Or you can press Ctrl Alt plus T key in order to open terminal directly. And here it is. Now you can do anything. You can install any application into this one. You can make this one into a DNS server. And let's install it. So I'll just write here sudo space apt space install space bind 9. With the help of bind 9, you can have your Ubuntu server as a DNS server. So it means this is working pretty fine and we do not have any problem. And this was all about how you can have your server built from scratch to have a desktop GUI. And I hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one and you must have learned a lot of things. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.